News is brought to you by Deals Corner in Passaic. 66-year-old Linda Williams died from injuries sustained in a two-car accident on the I-49 and 52 overpass yesterday. Williams was a passenger in a car driven by 47-year-old Tina Redmond Dressen. Their vehicle collided with a pickup driven by 22-year-old Casey Hyman of Butler as they attempted a left turn onto the interstate. Tina Redmond Dressen was transported to a Kansas City area hospital by helicopter. Casey Hyman received minor injuries. A traffic stop led to the arrest of 31-year-old Keely Ann Huff yesterday. Huff refused to consent to a search of her vehicle, and a canine unit was brought to the scene to investigate, where marijuana and paraphernalia was found in the vehicle. Both Huff and a passenger, 31-year-old Charles Westmoreland, were taken into custody. A butler woman was arrested Wednesday for allegedly having sex with a minor. Christina Brown, 39, faces five counts, including deviant sexual intercourse with a person who's less than 14 years of age. Jay Kiger, 35, also of Butler, faces one count of sexual exploitation of a minor for allegedly videotaping the incident. Both are being held in the Bates County Jail. The Butler School District is now enrolling preschool for the upcoming year. The district is pleased to announce there will be an additional preschool classroom for the 2015-2016 school year. For more information, call 660-679-6591. The Rich Hill 4th of July Committee would like to invite you to a fish fry this Saturday night, 5 to 7 p.m. at Trent's Barbecue. Free well donations will be accepted. All proceeds will be used to purchase a bunker to store fireworks. Your weather forecast calls for a 90% chance of rain today with a high about 79. The rest of the weekend looks pretty good, though. Fair skies with highs in the mid-80s. You won't find it anywhere else. Deals Corner has unique, upcycled, and handcrafted items that are truly one of a kind. Take a minute and stop by this Saturday. Deals Corner in Passaic. That's your local news for now from the Streaming News Network.